And I see your true colors shining through. We're going to be playing a rainbow pin tag. So let's get cracking. Hello all my explorers and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes and Clones where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. On this channel, we do things like unboxings and hauls, pins and pin tags, Disney news and Disney reviews. So if this sounds interesting to you, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post, as it really does help us out. So the rainbow uh, pin tag was created by my beautiful rainbow friend, Jamie, from Jamie's Disney Kingdom. And um, basically all the prompts are a color of the rainbow. So you, you uh, demonstrate a pin that is mostly that color. And, um, you know, also it gives us an opportunity to talk about Pride because this was developed for Pride. And uh, I thought I'd let you know what I thought, thought of it. I, um, you know, I have been out for many years, 30, something years, I want, no, 30, about 30 years, 30 years, uh, and, uh, you know, it does not get, it gets easier, but it also doesn't get easier, <laughs> because you find yourself always coming out, always, and I, um, don't really talk about being gay on this channel very often but it's not because i don't want to it's just that what i'm talking about doesn't really you know uh, i'm unboxing mickey loot you know where do i fit the gay part there i've never tried to hide it um but at the same time i've never talked about it uh ad nauseum or anything like that i you know i used to be wear all the rainbow uh, pride rings and things like that when I was younger. Um, but I think I've just a bit gotten so old that I don't do it as much anymore. Uh, and it makes me a little bit sad because I know this is the time of the month to celebrate. I mean, this is the time of the year to celebrate. Unfortunately, we only got one, one month, actually, and technically a day, because every national coming out day, I do come out on Facebook. <laughs> um, so anyway, I, I just think that Pride is a time where you just, you know, just sing it to the hills and uh, be proud of who you are. And, you know, that's why I wanted to do this episode so that if there was any question, I, I hope that I'm being clear that I am a proud gay man of over 30 years or 30 years at least, at least 30 years. I know at least 30 years. <laughs> so, um, and I'm old. <laughs> I'm older than a lot of the people on the YouTube community, but I'm I'm so glad to have been embraced at the same time. So that's really a, a great thing, and I'm hoping that I don't lose supporters because of this whatever revelation that I'm coming up with. If you didn't, if you couldn't figure it out from my videos, then I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway, this is Pride Month, and 
it's a great time of year. So let's get cracking with this pin tag. Sorry to ramble. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling, man. All right. So starting off with red, we have anger from Inside Out. This was from the um, flare pin set where all of the uh, emotions are roasting um, uh, marshmallows over his head. And I told myself for this particular pin tag, because it would be so easy to just do all the emotions in this pin tag, I would only choose one. And so I chose anger for this one. All right, so for orange, I chose the orange bird. One of my favorite pins. So tiny, but I love him so much. Orange Bird reminds me of when I was uh, younger. My dad got me a little Orange Bird uh, toy. And my dad and I were not, uh, I don't want to say that we weren't close, but we weren't, we didn't have that kind of bond, that father-son father, father -son bond. And um, my dad was always trying to get me to work out in the car. Uh, out on the car with him and I had absolutely no interest in it. Um, you know, toward the end of his life, we actually got a lot closer. Um, there was, you know, I think that that was really um, a touching thing. But I'll just share really quickly with you as well, just because we're uh, talking about Pride Month. Um, you know, when I came out to my dad, I was actually super scared. Like, I, I threw up beforehand. Because, you know, my mom was insistent that I come out to my dad, you know, and my mom was ready with the pamphlets. You know, she, she had gone to PFLAG and, uh, and all that. And so I was really sick because I came out to my mom first thinking that she would be okay with it because she had a lot of gay friends, because she was a flight attendant. And, but she had a really hard time with it. She did. And so I thought, well, what, I mean, like my mom has a hard time with it. What is my dad gonna do? Um, and I remember uh, him, you know, I, I finally like blurted out. I come to accept the fact that I'm gay. And my dad just looks at me and he stops eating and he looks at me and he says, is that what you want? And I'm like, yes. And he said, okay, now I know what to tell people when they ask me. <laughs> um, but he also told me that he never wanted me to fear, you know, like he's always gonna love me. And I thought that that was, a, you know, it was such a, a great, moment, um, you know, and he told my mom, you know, at the end of the day, this is the way that God made me, and it just always meant a lot to me, and my dad and I never really, you know, talked to, um, talked about, uh, these things before, but it really meant a lot to me. Also, just on a side note, my dad, uh, and mom went with me to Pride, and they left a little early, but they came back to my table where I was I was working at uh, a nonprofit. And <laughs> my dad, my mom couldn't pull my dad away from the drag queen show. My dad was loving it. So anyway, if you ever fear, you know, I don't want to, every case is different, but sometimes you have to give your family credit. All right, I went way too long with yellow, uh, with orange. Now on to yellow. I don't have a story about yellow, except for the fact that this is one of my spirit characters, Russell, the Wilderness Explorer. I love him so much. All right, and next, green, which is my favorite color. And that is the goddess Demeter from the Hercules set. 
and you know that I recently completed this set after having an epic run of opening these boxes with absolutely no duplicates. All right. And then blue, we have Barley and Ian Lightfoot from Onward. I really love this film a lot. Um, and, uh, you know, I didn't have an older brother, but I have a younger sister, and she's always been supportive of me as well. Um, you know, she's one of my best friends. All right, so I've added a color here because I know that the rainbow is Roy G. Biv. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. So there is an indigo villain out there, and that is Thanos. Thanos is an indigo um, villain, and I thought I'd showcase him. And the final one is purple. And while she is a white mouse, she wears purple. And everybody knows this is one of my favorite characters in Disney. All right, and so the final thing that we have to show is a rainbow pin. And this year, I tell you, uh, Disney, hats off to Disney for really reaching out and um, having a lot of their different, um, their different departments and different studios uh, create rainbow pins. And this one is the one from Marvel, but they have one for Star Wars and Pixar. Um, it's very cool. But I love this pin with the Marvel logo in rainbow colors, even though they left off indigo, but then, then what would it be, more belly? <laughs> more VL? Uh, anyway, that's that. Um, so that is the tag. Uh, I hope you enjoy yourself and I hope you learned a little bit more about me, um, you know, and try to be especially proud this month. And um, anyway, if you enjoyed yourself, please subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications and do like this post as it really does help us out. And uh, you can find us at all our socials down below. Uh, visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Thanks again and happy Pride Month. See you later. Bye.